It's a tradition at Victoria to give the final word to a student who has graduated this evening. The address is given on behalf of all of the graduates and is delivered by a student who's made a significant contribution to university life. This evening, the address will be given by Abigail Rajendran, who's graduated with a Bachelor of Engineering. Abigail is graduating this evening with first class honours in electronics and computer systems engineering. And she is now studying towards her masters and is working on an orthotic hand rehabilitation device for people recovering from the effects of stroke. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Abigail Rajendran to give the graduate address. Chancellor, Vice-Chancellor, University Council, staff, distinguished guests, family, friends and fellow graduates, good evening. Tēnā koutou katoa. Five years ago, I had no idea what I was going to do. I was finishing a somewhat full-on year at high school and was ready to become one of those cruisy, relaxed, laid-back uni students I'd seen in movies. A student who would attend a couple of classes a week and have a four, maybe five day weekend. There were three things I'd promised myself I would never do again. One was physics, maths, and all-nighters. Judging from my degree, it's pretty obvious I broke all three. I turned up to the Vic Open Day and was impressed by these robots the students had built. However, back then, before today's vampires, CSI and crime fighting were huge, and so I was torn between criminology and these robots. I opted for engineering, thinking that if I don't like it, I could always transfer out. And so my journey began. Not having a clue about computer programming, I attended my first computer science lecture. Halfway through the lecturer, the lecturer asks, what, question, oh, sorry, what languages we know? I sit there thinking, well, I know English and I can kind of understand Tamil, and when the guy beside me raises his hand and says, I know Python. To which I thought, whoa, this guy speaks snake? <laughs> I later found out that Python was a programming language. In first year, aside from wishing I'd paid more attention to physics and maths at school, I got a taste of this whole world I never knew existed, and curiosity stopped me from transferring out. By second year, I knew I was exactly where I needed to be. Four years later, I stand before you extremely honored and privileged to be talking to you all at tonight's celebration. It is often easy to get caught up in the day-to-day -day routines of life without getting a chance to pause and reflect. Fellow graduates, stop, take a breather, let out that sigh of relief. I know at times it may have felt like this day would never come. A common feeling at about 6 in the morning, right before that 8 a.m. hand in. However long this night has taken each of us, we can say we did it. We faced our challenges, we overcame them, and most importantly, we learnt from them. It goes without saying that we didn't travel this journey alone. Firstly, I would like to thank God, who has helped me get to where I am today. I'd also like to acknowledge our lecturers. Thank you for pushing us beyond our boundaries. Just when we thought we couldn't possibly handle that extra assignment, you proved us wrong. Thank you for sharing your knowledge, your passion, for your continual encouragement, and most importantly, for your patience, especially when those notes began to resemble more Greek than English. Thank you to the technicians, support staff, and tutors. We were often pretty tough on you, expecting you to know all the answers. That was until some of us became you. We quickly gained a new appreciation for, for you, hoping that our own students wouldn't ask us the same bizarre questions we had asked you. To our family and friends who became our refueling stations along the way, thank you for your love and your support, and at times telling us not what we wanted to hear, but what we needed to, helping us get through our lows and joining and celebrating our highs. Finally, to my fellow graduates, thank you. Thank you for your friendships and for our discussions, both inside and outside the classroom. 
They've challenged me to learn and to grow. I'm honored to have I'm honoured to have had you in my journey. So I guess this leaves us with one final thought. What happens now? What do we do with this nice, shiny piece of parchment? As you know, this isn't the end, but the start of a new journey. Some of us have already joined the workforce, this real world we are always reminded of. And some of us have gone back to further our degrees. Wherever you are, Continue to challenge yourselves, to dream big dreams and to achieve them. Don't ever be afraid of failure, but use it as an opportunity to learn. Each time you reach for that calculator, pick up that pencil, mix those chemicals together, or look down that microscope, remember where you came from, those who have helped you along your journey, that have helped shape your future, and return that same kindness to someone else to help smooth out some of those same bumps along their journey. Thank you.